So welcome back to our viewers for our live streaming of the A1 women's competition. Tonight in green and white, we have Norths up against Red Lions in the red. Be a really interesting clash between the two teams on what is a pretty miserable night tonight in Toowoomba. It's a bit of rain, a bit of wind, pretty cold out here at Clyde Park. It'll be quite an interesting encounter between the two teams. Norths have had a, a pretty good start to the season this year. Grinded some, some nice results and ultimately they've qualified for the President's Cup this year, which is a great achievement. Unfortunately, due to last year's uh, last week's weather, was unable to be played, but that'll be replayed in the in the coming weeks. And Red Lions have had a probably a difficult start to the season, but showed some promising results two weeks ago when they were able to get the better of of Rangeville in a bit of an upset, which is which will give them a bit of confidence leading into, into tonight's clash. A few injuries have played havoc with their, their season with Rachel McCready. Unfortunately, she's out again tonight, so hopefully she's she's okay with her, her health and she can get back on the field soon. So Red Lions now with an early opportunity into the circle. Gannon just unable to get a touch on it. Dangerous chance there for Red Lion. And umpire Chantel Manhire just signals that'll be a North free hit. So Chantel backing up with her second game in a row. And she's joined by Amanda Ross tonight, umpiring at the other, other side. Mike Connor now intercepts from the press into the circle. And it's forced a short corner. Great skills and great speed from Connor. And Red Lions have started well here. Now while we break for the, for the corner up on field two in the men, we've got Newtown Hockey Club up against Past High. That'll be a really interesting clash between probably the most experienced side in the competition being Newtown up against one of the younger sides in, in Past High. Be quite an interesting one tonight as we see the corner getting set up now on field one. With Red Lions setting up with one battery here. It goes out to Heidi Phillips on the trap. Ainsley Clancy shoots, bit of a miss hit, but Mike Connor's got in a position where she's just forced another corner. Pretty sensible play. Just having a chat about what their options are. Connor injects. That's a break. So Norse are now reduced to a goalkeeper and three defenders. So it'll be interesting to see whether Red Lions use a variation as it's ultimately a seven against three. Or will they go the straight shot? They appear to, to go the straight shot or play the ball direct. Maybe looking for a deflection. But it's just nicked the foot off the runner. And it'll be another short corner. Again, another seven against three here for, for Red Lion. Phillips traps, Clancy lays the ball off to the left. Great save from Tash Lombard in the net. Into the circle deflection. Clancy throws it in, Heidi Phillips with the touch. Bit of ping pong there. And another short corner force there. Just a bit of confusion, but another another short corner and, and the umpires deemed that the there wasn't the ball didn't exit the five yard mark, so they don't get another defender back. So it's gonna be another short corner with only three defenders in the net. You'd think the odds are in favour of, of Red Lion here, if it's a numbers game. Clancy goes to the direct slap, saved on the post. And another short corner, <laughs> four in a row for, for Red Lions. Plenty of early pressure here, but great resolute defending from the, the ladies in green and, green and white. Tash Lombard's been solid in the net and backed up well by her posties. 
and her runners. to the left hand side this time slap direct touch touched over the top of the net and Chantel Manhai says that's too high over the top of the goal so a free hit to the defence great job from the Norse ladies they're under significant pressure there but they didn't crack I think Red Lions will be kicking themselves there four or five corners in a row and un unable to, to get a real quality opportunity or a real quality shot on goal Just a bit of an error there from, from Red Lions has given Norse an opportunity now with, through a long corner. Great interception though. So Jane Butler will get us underway here from North to Manhire. That's Emily Manhire. Free hit one by Heidi Phillips for, rain, uh, for Red Lions. Amanda Ross just asked her to stop the ball. And they'll have to take that one back. Just, just about the halfway line on the left hand side of the field. So Amy Siebenhausen goes back and around to Ainsley Clancy. Just assessing her options, just jogging up the field, trying to draw someone out of the press. She opts to go long. Great ball down to the strikers. Strong defence, though, from, from North. They throw it forward here to Stella Sui. Gets a little touch in front of Beck Denny. Carries the ball with one hand down the left-hand side of the field. Well defended though from Denny, but Sui's able to beat one. Throws it down the back line. Oh, just unable to get that one there. Norse, good early opportunity. And Jane Butler throws it out, but well intercepted from Dorge. She goes back to Stevenhausen. But Emily Manhire does well, gets a touch here. Kalea Bud. Oh, just a little bit too hard that pass there. Needed to feed it rather than force it to the attackers. But Norse have responded well from a, a bit of a shaky start. Now starting to create some opportunities of their own. Clancy with the up and over. Nice overhead there to Dorge on the left. She slaps. Great to see Mickey... Dorge out there on the field this afternoon. She, uh, she was actually part of our walking hockey session this afternoon. She was out there with some family and great to see walking hockey getting off the ground and great to see some pretty healthy numbers for our first session this afternoon. If you're interested in giving walking hockey a go, you can check out the Toowoomba Hockey website and find out all about our programs for, for everyone in the Toowoomba community. Of any age, you can play hockey, no matter your level of experience. We even had players in their 80s today participating in walking hockey. So great program and, and check out the website for more information. As we see Heidi Phillips now feeding the ball into the midfield, out to the right, just unable to connect there. With Chop at right midfield for, for Red Lions tonight. Kirsty Hunter sets the press up early though and they're able to win the ball back with a good press wins the ball wins a free hit here Kirsty Hunter looks to take it quickly she drives to the back line 
Looks to hit across, but the umpire Chantel Manhire is deemed she hasn't gone five metres. So a free hit to the defence. For those of you new to hockey or haven't been haven't seen a game of hockey for a while, if an attacking team wins a free hit in the attacking 25, they must travel with the ball five metres before they can pass the ball directly into the circle or pass it to a fellow teammate outside of the circle before they can play the ball directly into the circle. As we see Ainsley Clancy on the ball, she opts to slap left out to Amy Siebenhausen who just slightly mistraps that and it strikes her in the body. And Stella Sui takes it quickly. Nice quick ball movement now from North. Emily Payne on the ball. Payne just blocked off slightly, but no obstruction. So be a sideline free hit to North. Ball into the circle here. Beck Denny gets front position. Does well from a defensive point of view for red line. And Heidi Phillips just puts it on the foot. Steadies the ship and, and wins a free hit. She transfers all the way across to Beck Denny. Great pressure though from Norse. They forced a turnover here. Entering the circle but just loses control there. So Clancy will get us underway. Very strong hitter of the ball and that she does just that, knocks it forward down the middle of the field. Jane Butler does well to intercept. Shea Fielder comes out and gets it under control. Knocks it through to Jaeger. Stella Sui just wins a free hit. I should say Morris rather than Jaeger, my apologies. Stella wins another, another free hit there for obstruction. Morris now on the left here for North, looking for options. She goes hard into the circle. Bit scrappy there, but North are unable to control that one and just goes out of play for a 16 yard hit to red line. Another strong hit out the back from Clancy, but Butler does well to intercept. She throws it forward. Heidi Phillips, just a little bit of a loose touch, inviting a bit of pressure, but nice skills from Heidi to beat one. Just threw it back to Butler, though. It's a bit, bit of ping pong in the midfield at the moment. Phillips to Denny on the right. She's got... Kirsty Hunter down the line. She opts to go to her. Bit of a mistrap. And Morris will take it on the sideline here. She's got Mog supporting from behind. She opts to bypass her and go to Fielder. Fielder looking for her options. My corner, great pressure there. Forces the free hit. Clancy just at the back, assessing her option. She feeds the ball into the midfield. Great use of the midfield play there. Mike on the back foot shoots, just wide of the net. Some great ball movement there from the Red Lions players though, from defence, utilising the midfield. Then to the striker, and Mai realised the space was actually behind her there. And was good enough to get a shot on goal. But that's the end of the first quarter. We're locked at nil all here on field one. I don't believe there's any goals up on field two either. We'll keep you updated throughout the night, and we'll be back very shortly for action in the second quarter. 
Hi all to the hockey members and supporters, my name is Matt Cook and welcome to the April edition of the Regional Hockey and Coaching Manager Update. April's been a jam-packed month for Toowoomba Hockey Association, but it's been equally successful. We've got a couple of exciting announcements that we'd love to share with you. Now the first exciting announcement that we have is Walking Hockey. Walking Hockey has been confirmed to start here in Toowoomba Hockey Association. It'll start on Friday the 20th of May, and if you're interested, you can check out the flyer on screen now, or feel free to send an email to coach at toowoombahockey.com.au, and next week our registration links will open for this program. Stay posted. Up next, we have our Coach Education Series. Coach Education is incredibly important to us here at Toowoomba Hockey Association, so we'd love to help you with your coaching for juniors and seniors. We've created some resources for all coaches throughout the association, and these will be made available in the coming weeks. If you'd like to gain some coaching accreditation, please feel free to contact myself at coach at toowoombahockey.com.au and we'll be able to provide you with information on, on the courses that are upcoming. And finally, some exciting news coming from Hockey Queensland. Hockey Queensland have recently held their 2021 awards ceremony and Toowoomba Hockey Association is lucky enough to receive a couple of those awards. The first of these are the Team Queensland Individual Award, which went to Ryan Williams from Rangeville Hockey Club. Ryan's helped Rangeville Hockey Club and Toowoomba Hockey Association for a number of years and he's a of news. Women's Morris in a bit of a midfield battle there for Norse as we get back to the action here in the in the second quarter. Siebenhausen's just changed sides here for Red Lions, playing it on the right this quarter. She goes hard to my corner, gets a little little deflection or a little touch on it, but just unable to connect with the fellow striker there and. Shea Fielder will resume play here for, for Norse. Opts to go back and around. A little bit of a sloppy pass. <laughs> Lucky the rules have changed about 10 years ago we, when we had own goals. That would have been a little bit embarrassing, but only a long corner. They get away with it there, Norse. Andy Clancy. Gets the three wood out and drives that one into the circle. A little bit of slice on that one. Off a little deflection off the defender, so... Long corner here for the red line. Umpire Chantel Manhai just asking them to take it a little bit wider in line with where the ball went out. We go back to Stevenhausen. Back into the midfield. To Mike on a great receive in motion. She goes back to Clancy who might load up here. No, feeds it into the midfield to Heidi. Gets a little deflection, a clever little deflection to the circle though. And again, taking another touch off Norths. Out for a long corner. Following a, a pretty similar pattern here to the first half where Red Lions started well and, and Norths were a little bit flat and... Ultimately, Red Lions were able to force a number of short corners early in the in the first quarter. The second quarter appears to be to be following the same pattern. Red Lions have come out of the blocks well and, and had all territory and possession early in the second quarter, but nothing to show from it so far. A pretty aggressive press here from, from Red Lion. Applying pressure on the ball, giving them nothing to work through the midfield. And that aggressive pressure's come off there. Mike Connor, good strength to ride the challenge onto the backhand. She shoots, bit of an air swing, gets away with it. Manhire called the short corner. It's probably good, good use of the communication there. It looked like these, these umpires are mic'd up and Amanda Ross and her were in a, in a conversation and, and ultimately agreed on a short corner. We we're very fortunate to have the, the technology available for the umpires to be mic'd up and, and talk to each other. 
and it's great to see it being, being utilised there to, to come up with a short corner. So again, early short corner here in this quarter. Mike Honor to inject, Heidi Phillips on the trap, and Ainsley Clancy appears to be setting up for a direct option. Goes to Ainsley, she shoots hard. Deflection in front of the goalkeeper. And a shot. Great defence from Norse. Their penalty corner defence has been pretty solid tonight. The runners and the posties have been very strong. And ultimately forced Red Lions into a bit of a disrupted attack. And it's taken a touch, so it'll be a long corner here for, for Red Lion. They go back again to Ainsley Clancy. But an opportunity, can they use the counter attack? Ainsley's up quite high. Bit of panic there from Red Lions as they clear the ball. Both teams lacking a bit of composure. Robinson just turns someone over to Heidi Phillips. There's numbers in the circle. Heidi forces the obstruction. Phillips back to Clancy. Clancy to the left to Burge. Burge. Good play with the midfield. Playing in and out wide. There's space available. Ball goes across the face. Bouncing ball and that's deemed as dangerous. Up off the goalkeeper. So another short corner for Red Lion. Their seventh short corner of the match so far. They'll certainly look to be more efficient from this one. So Mike Connor here to inject. Good injection. Ainsley Clancy back to the injector. Mike Connor shoots on the back foot and she scores. So one from seven from the PC so far. But ultimately the, the sheer weight of numbers and pressure was enough to, to give, Nor give Red Lion the lead. Great variation there, Mike Connor. Nice hard shot and took a little bit of a deflection off the defender, I believe. And it gives Red Lions the lead. One goal to nil over Norths. Robinson in the midfield. Does enough to win the free hit. A bit of confusion as to who's taking that one, but they opt to go back and around. Morris was a little bit surprised to, uh, to win that one for Norse, but she'll, she'll take it nonetheless. Bud slapping hard to the help side, but Red Lions do well there to win the ball. Mike Connor gets the ball and loses her stick. Phillips does well there to intercept. Beats one. Wins a free hit just outside the 25. That'll give them the option to go direct into the circle. So North sagging very deep in their, in their defensive Defensive press, giving Clancy plenty of time and space on the ball, and she's a good distributor of the ball. And ultimately, she's dictating play at the moment. Maybe that's something Norse can address with their, their press, trying to put more pressure on the ball. Force a turnover and then utilise that space behind the, the red lines. So another long corner here forced by, by red line. Definitely putting Norths under plenty of pressure with their aggressive pressing.
Ball into the circle. No connection this time. 16 yard hit. Norse will be able to relieve the pressure here with an outlet. So a big thank you this year to, to Bus Queensland who are supporting our A1 competition and our live stream. Certainly wouldn't be possible without their wonderful support and it's something that we look forward to, to continuing on and building a great partnership into the future. Now with their, with their support, they've got some fantastic awards for the night. So we have our Bus Queensland Player of the Match. So we'd love to hear from you, the viewers at home, to leave a comment down below with your Player of the Match and also the Bus Queensland Young Gun of the Match. And that's an under 18 player that's performed well in, in the A1 competition. So have a think during tonight's telecast. Don't be afraid to leave a comment down below with your vote for the player of the match and the young gun of the match. And would love to hear your thoughts with a score prediction as well. Obviously red lines at the moment with the early goal. But we'd love to hear what, who you think is going to win and, and by what margin. I can report up on field two there has been a goal as well. Newtown taking the lead one goal to nil over past high up on field two. So Red Lions win a free hit in the midfield. Throw it forward into Connor. Great receive on the move. Beats one, beats two, into the circle. Just wins a free hit outside the circle. Heidi Phillips takes it early. Good energy and intensity shown there by Red Lions. And she's forced a short corner. Well done from Red Lions. They look sharp tonight. An inspired change maybe to, to play Heidi a little bit higher up the field using her composure and her quality in that attacking half. So we said one from seven last short corner. They've had plenty of looks at the defensive pattern of Norse. It'll be interesting to see what variation they come up with to, to try and score the goal here. It appears a little, little bit of a tinker here, no stick trapper. So Connor still to inject. We've got Clancy and Phillips at the top. Goes to Clancy. She lays it off to Phillips. Back to Clancy. She shoots, but that's high. So, first shot on a short corner, if it's a hit or a slap or a strike, has to be below the backboard. So that was too high then. It was above the, the height of the backboard, so a free hit's awarded to the defence. More slapping hard. No connection there, though. So Red Lions will just keep building the pressure here. A lot of possession and a lot of territory. So they go back to Clancy. Just feeds the ball into the midfield. Great use of the two defensive midfielders. They've done that well tonight, Red Lion. And up on field two, another goal to Newtown. As we touched on before, probably one of the more experienced lineups in the competition against one of the younger lineups. And at, at this stage, the experience is, is taking out the chocolates over the youth, but still plenty of time tonight, not even half time yet. So still four minutes to go in the second quarter. On field one, Red Lions lead one goal to nil in the A1 women's clash. And up on field two, I believe it is two goals to nil with Newtown leading past high in the men's clash. Mike on a wonderful little lift, good skills. She finds Heidi Phillips. Really nice structure now starting to, to come to the fray here with Red, red Lion. Getting some nice sustained attacking pressure. 
through good, smart hockey is Heidi Phillips. Unbelievable skill. She's beaten four players into the circle. And another short corners force. Red lines are on fire at the moment. Playing some really, really good hockey here. And Norths don't have any answers at the minute. They're holding on for dear life. Just three minutes though until half time so that both teams will have an opportunity to reset at half time and, and try and solve some of the problems thrown their way. I think from a North's perspective it's all about trying to improve their connections and outlets. At the moment they're, they're outletting the ball and a lot of the time it's, a, it's an easy turnover and Red Lions are getting back into the contest. As we see Red Lions take the short corner, it's a slap, saved on the line, followed in and Heidi Phillips on the rebound makes it two goals to nil. It's certainly been coming. The pressure's been mounting. And Red Lions good enough to extend their lead. Two goals to nil over Norse. I think from a Red Lions point of view at half time, it's, it's more of the same. And they've played some really, really good stuff. It's just about not getting greedy and, and not getting too narrow in their attacking 50, keeping their width. And looking for outcomes in the attacking 25. From a defensive point of view, just changing the point of attack. They've done that reasonably well. As Beck Denny looks to find their defensive midfielder in Heidi Phillips. But an opportunity now. Emily Manhire breaking forward. She just knocks that one forward, but just too hard. And Payne's unable to get on the end of that one. Ainsley Clancy on the ball. She goes around the press to Siebenhausen. Down to, to Hunter. And I believe another goal up on field two. So Newtown really running away with it now. I believe it's three goals to nil. Up on field two, making a statement. A lot of players, a lot of people had written Newtown A1 men off this year. Um, and it's, uh, it's good to see them working hard and, and responding well. As we see Red Lions now driving the ball into the circle. An opportunity across the face. Just cleared there from Norths. Plenty of pressure being applied here from Red Lion. Mike Connor. Transfers the ball over to Siebenhausen, does well to intercept, uh, to control that ball, sorry. To Hunter. Hunter, back to Siebenhausen, press from Norse, but good enough to beat the press from a Red Lions perspective. Dorge to Connor. Connor goes back, they're keeping possession really well here. Just want to try and draw some of those Norse players out to create a bit more space for the midfield. So it's nice patience. Don't need to force the play. As I say that, potentially a bit of a force, but an opportunity now. If they can get a touch. Morris now. Needs to use her speed. Heidi Phillips is quick. Morris. Denny. Denny does well to get back and save the day. Ten seconds. Norths need to be aware of the time here and show a bit of urgency. I think they've been beaten by the buzzer there. And Red Lions take a two goal to, ne to nil lead here on field one in the A1 Women's Clash. Really, really good hockey being played by them at the moment. And it'll be interesting to see how both teams react at half time. We'll be back very shortly for more action, so stay tuned. News. The women's A1 hockey competition is shaping up to be more competitive than ever after round two. Although they will have a break this week, training was still a go. The coming opens and under 18 state trials. Last week's upset win by the North certainly showed they're a team to beat this season. Red Lions blew their lead late in the game and say they'll need to learn to stay competitive for all four quarters. I think it was just like connecting and our communication as a team. I think we we're just losing our, our calmness and we just need to stay calm under pressure. May Connor scored both goals for Red Lions last week and wants to help the girls push in attack rather than staying reserved. 
we need to take risks and like give it a go. Like it's how we learn and be, become better players. Both teams say the more experienced players' leadership on the field is pivotal for their team to be competitive. We were missing Rachel, and Rachel's a very good player. So her being gone was a bit like of a get of like a difference. Uh, it's definitely good. Like being one of the younger players, like it's definitely good to learn off them and kind of have their experience in that within the team. And yeah, definitely learning new tips and tricks from them. And not even the Easter weekend is stopping the girls from training, with trials for the under-18s and open women's teams coming up. Definitely good. Um, yeah, it's definitely something I've done for the last couple of years. Uh, keen to do it again. It's definitely a good opportunity to go to Busy. The girls will be doing everything they can for a chance at selection. The focus is probably our layout on the field and the communication with the girls, because that can either make or break a game. Lucas Samard, 7 News. Hi all to all the hockey members and supporters, my name is Matt Cook and welcome to the April edition of the Regional Hockey and Coaching Manager Update. April's been a jam-packed month for Toowoomba Hockey Association, but it's been equally successful. We've got a couple of exciting announcements that we'd love to share with you. Now the first exciting announcement that we have is Walking Hockey. Walking Hockey has been confirmed to start here in Toowoomba Hockey Association. It'll start on Friday the 20th of May. And if you're interested, you can check out the flyer on screen now or feel free to send an email to coach at toowoombahockey.com.au and next week our registration links will open for this program. Stay posted. Up next, we have our coach education series. Coach education is incredibly important to us here at Toowoomba Hockey Association. So we'd love to help you with your coaching for juniors and seniors. We've created some resources for all coaches throughout the association and these will be made available in the coming weeks. If you'd like to gain some coaching accreditation, please feel free to contact myself at coach at toowoombahockey.com.au and we'll be able to provide you with information on, on the courses that are upcoming. And finally, some exciting news coming from Hockey Queensland. Hockey Queensland have recently held their 2021 awards ceremony and Toowoomba Hockey Association is lucky enough to receive a couple of those awards. The first of these are the Team Queensland Individual Award, which went to Ryan Williams from Rangeville Hockey Club. Ryan's helped Rangeville Hockey Club and Toowoomba Hockey Association for a number of years and he's a fantastic recipient of this year's award. Additionally, Matt Sieber took out the Hockey Queensland Community Coach of the Year. Matt's been heavily involved in all things Newtown Hockey Club and Toowoomba Hockey Association over a number of years and he's a really worthwhile recipient. Ella White also took out the Female Indoor Player of the Year for Hockey Queensland. So a big congratulations to Ella on her, who had a fantastic season last year. And the big news is Toowoomba Hockey Association was named Hockey Queensland's Association of the Year for 2021. This is an amazing achievement and it wouldn't be possible without our fantastic members and wonderful volunteers who made this happen. Toowoomba Hockey Association is incredibly proud to bounce back from what was a tough 2020 with COVID interrupting large portions of our season to come back and deliver a really positive season last year. We know there's still things we can work on and we're continuing to build for an even better 2022 season. Once again, a big thank you to all our members. Have a great long weekend, guys, and we'll see you soon. So welcome back here to the third quarter. Red Lion currently leading two goals to nil over North. Apologies if I get a couple of names wrong. The uh, the wind and the rain is just starting to fog up our, you know, our commentary box up here, guys. So it's becoming a little bit tricky to see from my view, but I'll endeavour to do my best as we see Heidi Phillips strong on the ball. Makes a nice tackle, hits a target, a nice simple play there from Red Lion, not forcing the game, using the width to play around the press. A nice composed play, but Norse do well to intercept. And throw it forward, just takes a little nick off a Red Lion stick, so they've forced a, a long corner. 
a little bit more of a positive start for, for the Norse, Norse girls. Red line now with the opportunity to counter attack, but Bud does well to, to keep the ball under control, but just loses out. Mike Connor now into the midfield with Heidi Phillips. Does enough. But Emily Payne, long levers, gets a little touch. Good skills from Hunter. She goes hard down the line. Shea Fielder will intercept that one for Norse. Looking for an option, just forces the ball down the middle though. And Red Lion are able to, to intercept. Just keep control of the game. Bit of an air swing there on the sideline from Red Lion. So Stella Sui now with an opportunity. She goes back down the back line again. Wins a free hit. Let's go back here to Bud. Red Lions play through the press. They find Mike Connor. Does well to find the help side. There's players up high if they can. Great ball from Hunter into a one-on-one. -on -one. Opportunity now. Goalkeeper's out. Very fortunate to get away with that one there. The ball was in behind the goalkeeper in a bit of a goal mouse scramble, but great desperate defending from Norse. They were able to repel the attack. Red lines, throw it into the circle there. Get front position. But great tackle from Mog. She wins the free hit, nice and strong. Builder opts to hit long to Sui. Great hands from Stella. She eliminates one. But good defence there from Red Lines. They were able to get numbers back, put her under pressure, and force the turnover. Burge on the ball here for Red Lion to Hunter. She goes back to Denny, back to Hunter again. Into the midfield. Robinson does well. She wins a free hit. Corner on the ball. Red 
Very sensible play there from Connor. There was nothing on, so she just dropped the ball back. Maintained possession, kept control, didn't force the play. Heidi Phillips goes hard into the circle. Opportunity, bit of chaos in the circle. Good skills from Sui, cuts inside. Can thread it through to Bud. Bud, just a bit of a loose touch, but... Umpire appeared to be unsighted then. There was appeal for a short corner, but unable to get a clear view on that one. Connor on the ball, she'll look long. No, ops to go left to, to Dorge. Just unable to keep that one in. Great break and transition though from red line. Mog's going to slap hard down the line. Well on from Bud. She's got some speed. She needs to get the ball out in front of her. Into the circle. Cuts inside, Denny. Bird just running well. She gets in a tangle from Hamlet, though. <laughs> All a bit messy there, but ultimately Red Lions defence do enough, just. Manhire for Norse. Cracks it hard into the circle. No one on the post. From a North perspective, not a bad ball across the face. Just needed to get a touch. Unfortunately, it wasn't there for North. Red line to get us underway. They go back and around to Burge. She finds Denny. Denny being pressured by Bud, she opts to go into Burge. Just a bit of a turnover though, so Mog, she goes down the line, but Denny's well positioned. Morris does well to win the ball. Good battle in the midfield. Robinson wins a free hit. Norse need to show a bit more energy and intensity here to take the free hits quickly. Red lines now to get us underway. Bit of a scrappy play in midfield, but Mike Connor comes out of it with the ball. She throws it forward to Gannon. Into the circle it goes. 
Let's just clip the foot though of a Norse defender outside the circle. So a free hit to Red Lions just on the edge. Red line just maintaining possession. North's very, very deep in defence. Encouraging pressure. Mike Horner, great receive on the move, drives into the circle, early shot, takes a touch, and a goal! Great finish, great reaction in the circle from Red Lions, took a few deflections, but the striker was low, down and desperate, and ultimately got the touch, scored a wonderful goal to make it three goals to nil, Red Lion leading over Norths. Great ball across the field here, one-on-one. -on -one. Good skills, Hamlet, uh, sorry, Lombard's out here for, for Norse, the keeper's out. Well done from Mog, scrambled well. A little bit frenetic and frantic here from both teams. Man high, upright reverse pass. Burge just got a little nick on that one from a red lines perspective. And Norths will get us back underway. Well played there from Heidi Phillips. Really good structure tonight. Credit to the Red Lions coaching staff. They've, they've had a tough start to the year this year, but they've responded really, really well. I think it's down to their, their structure and their coaching of the group. The team looks really composed and really well balanced. Um, so, so credit to the coaches. They've done a fantastic job. Well done from Heidi Phillips at the back. Great ball to Connor, receives the ball, forces the obstruction, clattered into there by Bud. Phillips probably just forcing that one a little bit. She's been great tonight though. Stella Sui and Beck Denny in a bit of a, a tangle there with Stella coming out on top. She goes down the line, but Dorge is well positioned to intercept. Connor, good strength, good skills. Butler now for Norse down the right hand side. Well done from Burge. 
Great strength from Abby Burge. Drives down the field. Throws it forward. Just unable to get that connection with the striker in front. Shea Fielder puts it on the foot. So under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Red line in absolutely no hurry at all to take this, this sideline for a hit. Running down a bit of precious time off the clock here. Heidi Phillips using her experience, going back to Burge. To Clancy, Clancy with a bit of a loose touch. It might, might invite some pressure here. Into the circle they go, Payne. Long corner here. Morris goes into the circle. Well cleared though. And that'll just about do it here in the third quarter. Red Lions leading three goals to nil over Norths. We'll be back shortly for action in the final quarter of this clash with the Bus Queensland A1 Women's Competition. Hi all Toowoomba Hockey members and supporters, my name is Matt Cook and welcome to the April edition of the Regional Hockey and Coaching Manager Update. April's been a jam-packed month for Toowoomba Hockey Association, but it's been equally successful. We've got a couple of exciting announcements that we'd love to share with you. Now the first exciting announcement that we have is Walking Hockey. Walking Hockey has been confirmed to start here in Toowoomba Hockey Association. It'll start on Friday the 20th of May. And if you're interested, you can check out the flyer on screen now or feel free to send an email to coach at toowoombahockey.com.au and next week our registration links will open for this program. Stay posted. Up next, we have our Coach Education Series. Coach Education is incredibly important to us here at Toowoomba Hockey Association, so we'd love to help you with your coaching for juniors and seniors. We've created some resources for all coaches throughout the association and these will be made available in the coming weeks. If you'd like to gain some coaching accreditation, please feel free to contact myself at coach at toowoombahockey.com.au and we'll be able to provide you with information on, on the courses that are upcoming. And finally, some exciting news coming from Hockey Queensland. Hockey Queensland have recently held their 2021 awards ceremony and Toowoomba Hockey Association's lucky enough to receive a couple of those awards. The first of these are the Team Queensland Individual Award, which went to Ryan Williams from Rangeville Hockey Club. Ryan's helped Rangeville Hockey Club and Toowoomba Hockey Association for a number of years and he's a fantastic recipient of this year's award. Additionally, Matt Sieber took out the Hockey Queensland Community Coach of the Year. Matt's been heavily involved in all things Newtown Hockey Club and Toowoomba Hockey Association over a number of years and he's a really worthwhile recipient. Ella White also took out the Female Indoor Player of the Year for Hockey Queensland, so a big congratulations to Ella.
So welcome back to the last quarter. Apologies for the delay. We've got Red Lions leading Norse three goals to nil in this Bus Queensland A1 Women's Clash. Norse just working their outlet at the moment. But Michaela Dorge does well to intercept for Red Lions and they just go back and around. Very patient at the moment, Red Lions. They're trying to force some of the Norse players out to put more pressure on the ball and create more space for their attacking players. Oh. Just a bit of a conversation going here between Bud and Amanda Ross. Taylor Bud. The Norse. She takes the free hit. Throws it into the midfield. Great transfer of play to the right hand side of the field. Jane Butler on the ball. She goes hard down the line, just misses their target. Right idea. Transfer round the back they go, but an interception from Manhire. Enters the circle on an acute angle. She shoots, ultimately wide of the net. Red line now to outlet. Tempted overhead, doesn't quite work the way they intended, but ultimately they, they have possession. Mike Connor, very sensible play, finding the space well. Great ball movement there from red line. That's really nice transfer of play through the midfield, cutting open the north press. Just unable to control the ball out on the right, but really good signs from red lines tonight. They'll be very happy with their performance. We'd love to hear from you at home on your, your perspective on your player of the match. So don't be afraid to leave a comment down below with your Bus Queensland player of, your, player of the match and the Bus Queensland young gun of the match as well. So an under 18 player that's performed well tonight in the game. Red lines go hard down the middle of the field. Heidi Phillips now on the ball. Drives forward, throws it into the edge of the circle, Mike Connor. A little bit of scrappy, scrappy play, but they get it into the circle. And Amanda Ross <laughs> awards the corner. A little bit of confusion, but came up with the right decision eventually. And a short corner here to red line. Apologies if, we, if we're struggling to, to call the names. It's starting to get a little bit blurry here in our viewing room. A bit of rain pelting against our, our glass here, so... I can tell there's a short corner, but I, I can't get any names at the moment, guys. I'm sure it's a lot clearer here with Josh from Huggy Creative doing a fantastic job on the camera tonight with some wonderful gear that he's, he's brought from his, with his own business. If you're interested in any live streaming and, and media services, check out Huggy Creative. 
doing a fantastic job with our A1 competition as Ainsley Clancy smashes one just to the left-hand side of the goal, maybe looking for a deflection there, but unable to get a nick on it. Norse now to outlet. Just play around the press. Down the right-hand side they go into the midfield. So we now in the midfield for Norse. <laughs> Just into the play, into their own teammates' feet there, Norse. Free hit just outside here for red lines. They'll take it quickly. Quite a great turn on the ball. Nice skill. Wins a free hit. Knocks it back to Phillip. Out to the left to Hunter. Hunter goes into the circle. Just doesn't get a clean connection on that. But Norse are unable to get a good pass out of defence. And the pressure continues to build. Rain's starting to come down a little bit heavier here, guys. It's becoming difficult for the players out there at the moment just to get their vision and connections. Plus the ball speed's just a little bit slower now that the rain's making the surface a little bit damper. Red lines to get us underway from the right-hand sideline. Heavy pressure, though. Opportunity on the counter-attack for Norse. Enters the circle. Early shot taken. Bobby Hamlet gets a, nick, gets a save on it. And a short corner is one there for Norse. Their first short corner of the night, I believe. Here's one for the for the coaches out there. If you if you score the short corner and make it three goals to one with with five minutes to play, do you go all in and take your goalkeeper off and, and have a crack? Be interesting to see what Nords come up with here from the short corner. Need a goal here. They've gone the short option, direct hit, bit of a miss hit. Didn't trouble the net of red line. Apologies, guys, if a little bit of moisture is coming in on the camera. The, the rain is pelting down sideways at us at the moment. Certainly more comfortable being inside than out there on the field. Sui in the midfield picks the ball up. Great tackle from Heidi Phillips. Well read. Finds Mike Connor. Connor throws the ball out to the right. Mog does well to intercept. Ball's thrown down the line. Thrown infield opportunity now. Cuts inside onto the Tomahawk. Shoots. Bard's well positioned. Great tackle there from Heidi Phillips. Into the circle she goes. She beats two. Shoots across the face. Opportunity behind the goalkeeper and a goal. Red Lion make it four goals to nil. Comprehensive performance tonight. Been very, very clinical in front of goal. Controlled the game, controlled the ball. And ultimately, a complete performance.
I think moving forward next week, they'll be very, very happy with their structure. Maybe some, some development or further improvement on their penalty corner attack. They've had a number of short corners and maybe could be some you know, more clinically in that area. But from a, an overall performance, I think the coaching staff of Red Lion will be very, very happy with the progress they're making, particularly with some key personnel unavailable tonight, the likes of Rachel McCready. Great skills from Mike Connor. Pats inside, a little bit of a shove there, and it's a short corner. Overly zealous challenge there from the Norse defence. Getting a little bit too physical for Amanda Ross's liking. She's called a short corner. So a bit more practice here, a bit more short corner practice for red lines as we just touched on. The penalty corner defence has been has been really solid for, for Norse. It's certainly a positive they can take out of tonight. No, it's back now. So, ball's injected out here. Ainsley Clancy with the direct slap. Oh, bouncing ball. Very dangerous play there. And Amanda Ross calls the short corner. Always a bit of a, an anxious one when the ball comes up in the circle and, and players are, are taking wild swings at the ball. So red line here to inject the ball in. Interesting decision. So an attacker has broken on the short corner. So what that means is the person that was the injector has to go back to halfway. An interesting rule, not the, not the person that's broken. So now their second choice injector has to, has to take the short corner. Good application of the rules there by the umpires. Ainsley Clancy looking for a deflection. Ball comes in, an air swing. So Norse will take the free hit. Norse go across the field, down to the right striker, unable to get a touch on that one. And a goal up on field two to pass tie. Unsure of the score there. I'll, I'll do my best to see if I can get a score update. But we've only got a, about 30 seconds to go. So I can't make any promises. The last, last couple of seconds of the game. We've got a card as well. It's all happening here. Rain's pelting down. Cards are happening. 10 seconds to go. Can Norse get the ball in the circle? Well, they can, and they're forced a short corner. Stella Sui was lining up for Tomahawk, but the clock's beaten her, and Norse will have one chance here to try and get on the scoreboard. Bobby Hamlet's had a relatively quiet evening, so she'll be keen to keep a clean sheet and not, not concede any goals tonight. Norse, they went for the short option... Last time, it appears they've got Emily Payne set up at the top of the circle. Go to the top, Payne, a bit of a loose, loose trap. And a bit of a physical challenge there from, from the Red Lions defence, so they win another short corner. It wasn't very convincing, that one. So 
They've gone the short option this time to Manhire. She shoots and she scores. Hamlet beaten at the near post there. She'll be a little bit disappointed not to keep the clean sheet, but all in all, a very positive night for Red Lion. Four goals to one winners over Norse. We'll be back next week for, for more live streaming action. A big thank you to Huggy Creative for the fantastic camera work. Big thank you to Bus Queensland for their sponsorship of this year's A1 competition. We'll be back next week, guys. Stay safe. Talk to you soon.